Hey, hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in the previous video, we were working on this data set, right? A time series data set, we understood how Python understand date time and how, what functionality is there to make Python understand that these are all dates and not objects, right? So we use something which is called as, let's do a quick revision, date time underscore say format equal to pd dot two underscore date time, right? This was what we had used pandas dot two underscore date time off this right got it finally and if i do dl dot d types i know that these are all date time formats next what we did we try to extract the year month all this information from this particular time format once python has understood this is date time we'll be able to extract uh most information from it okay using some functionalities so let's extract it out df of year is equal to df of date time format dot apply of lambda i is equal to i of year similarly i'll do it for month day then we have day as well we have we had day of week i believe and we also had day name we also had month name. In fact, we also have day of year, which day it is in the entire year, right? So we'll just call them as the same name to extract the information now. Okay. So once we have the data ready, we can simply run this df.head. Oh, I need to, I think some cases I need to put a bracket. Whenever you see such bound method, you have to put a bracket. It means you have to put a bracket. There we go. Okay. We also use a, a, a what you call as a logic, right? DEF. It said, I think the weekend logic of X. Right? If X equal to equal to uh, uh, Saturday or x equal to equal to Sunday, my d is basically a weekend and call it as i also. Else i is equal to weekday. Return of i. Done. I can also use this same apply function with all my customized function. I can call it as d underscore type, right? And I have to use it on day name. I have to use this function on off of i, right? Let's see. So we can weekday all this have come, right? I can also find out the difference between, uh, you know, two dates by simply subtracting it. Uh, I can also how many days have passed uh, since today. Okay, so let's say we have today's date. How do I generate it using date time? Dot date time dot today. But if I find out the type of this, right? Okay, the problem is this is date time date time. The type of this date is different. I showed in the previous video, right? It's pandas leap something like that, interval something like that, right? So type of, let's say, uh, df of uh, 0 comma df dot lock, right? Date time format. If I do this, this pandas timestamp. And this is date time dot date time. So can I convert this to this? How do I do it? Let's say pd dot two underscore date time of, say, today's date. This is timestamp again. Now let's try to see if it is of the same format. Now this seems to be the same format, right? This seems to be of the same format, our main same. So we can, the machine will be able to understand this, right? Okay. In fact, if you want to check it, you can do type of this again. You can see this, I'll close this. This and this is the same, right? So let's say, let's create another, column say days past, right? Equal to, uh, 
let's first create a today's date column day of df of sorry today is equal to simply i'll do this okay so once i do this if i do df dot head today's it is calculated since i'm equating only one value all the rows will have the one one single value of course days past can be now of df of today minus df of what the time format this should be it and also do df dot head let's see days past have come but you can see here days past now let's try to look at it df dot last column so i'll use lock zero comma minus one. Oh, this should be i lock see how it easy it is right since it's last column i didn't want to uh, take the entire column and I can simply just put minus one. So this is how handy it becomes using lock and I lock as I stated in the previous videos. Okay, now once we have this, you can see it's a time delta. Same time delta which we used, I think, to generate more number of days, right? Okay, same thing. Date time dot date time dot today plus time delta. Date time dot time delta. It will be. If I do a five, it will add five days to today's date, right? Similar, similar to that. So time delta in this format is present, but I only need the days. I don't need how seconds, how much minutes difference it is. I just simply need the day difference, right? So suppose if I do this, let us save it in say A. Can I extract the day part out of it? Yes, I can. This is how you can extract more information out of it, right? So which means that I can create one more column, okay? I'll use a lambda function again, right? I can create one more column. Let's say days past number, okay? Number of days past basically. And uh, this will become days past. On this, I'll use i is equal to i dot days. Okay, and if I do df dot head, you can see here, I get all the number of days which has passed in numerical format. So if I do df dot d types now, you can see date time format, date time from this is time delta difference. And from this time delta, I extracted the number of days which have passed, which is of integer. Now let's try to look at another kind of data frame, which has a different format of data. Okay, say let's say df2 now is equal to Read underscore CSV. There are sets of time series. Let me see what was the new other file exactly. Time series underscore. Okay, great. Time series underscore. So we have to dot head. You can see here that the date time here is different. It's 25th August 2012, right? And if I do df dot d types, it will be the same thing, right? It's a df2, right? This will be df2 object. How do I make now quite an understand that this is not actually a string, but it's a date time format. So if I do pd dot to underscore date, it. When you want to use a logic, first use it on one value first, and then you can replicate the logic, no problem. But first you have to work at the granular level, okay? So if I have, say, b is equal to uh, df2.iloc of 0, 1, is this, and that too, it, it seems that it has some spaces after it as well. Wow. This is going to create issues. So first thing what I have to do is remove this, uh, you know, what you call as uh, spaces after the date. I'll use a lambda function. I have to replicate this for all the here yeah, for all the uh, dates because if I do b dot strip, the space we go space up, which is outside the on either side of the words. Let's do that. So df of again I'll write date time, I'll replace the same uh, column itself is equal to this 
dot apply of lambda i is to i dot strip. So once I do this, this will by the way df two. Same thing. Now if I do this, you can see here. Now there is no spaces. Just fine. Now if I do this of the, wow, it has taken it. So Python understands that's a date time format, right? But can I change the format? Can I change the format? Of course, if you write in something else, some absurd value twenty five space AU space two thousand twelve, it's not going to work, right? Because it's August and abbreviated form, that is why it's able to understand it. And by the way, above, when we have all these August, September, October, right, Saturday, we can convert these to abbreviated versions also. There are functions available in date time as well as in pandas. Okay. 